Thank you to Liquid IV and Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time to watch the second episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. If you didn't catch our episode one reaction, that is, of course, up here on the channel. Olivia, are you excited to see if this show gets stronger, better, harder, faster? Daft Punk, baby, you know what I'm talking about? I am excited. Ah, uh, yes, you can hear the elation in her voice right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. Leave a like. That's first order of business. Bend the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Thanks to Prepper for helping us set it down these highlights. Full length reaction to watch along. That's where you sync up with your own copy of Avatar. Available for Super Sex Rejects at our Patreon page. And of course, we covered uh, Avatar and Ledger Core over there exclusively for our Super Sexy Rejects. But I'm excited to see what happens. Let's see what happens in episode dose. I'm sure it'll turn out. The notebook didn't find the avatar. You did. You did take the little diary. Because we are in a more quiet part of the world that we have an advantage. How many places can there be for an avatar to hide? There's a whole world. Kyoshi Island is only a few hours from here. Kyoshi Island? Avatar Kiyoshi was the fiercest of warriors and the master of what they call the Avatar State. Maybe something in her shrine will help me control my power before... You kill someone? <laughs> Our duty is to protect the village like Dad told us to. We do have a duty, and it's to protect the Avatar. Ever since he came into our lives, things have changed for me. Before I met him, I couldn't bend enough water to fill a thimble. And now look what I can do. I know. A lot changes in 20 minutes. <laughs> <gasps> Is it our favorite? Our fa the, the, the true champion of the it show? It is, it is. <laughs> Momo! Hey! That's our food! So cute! What's this? This scroll has been passed down among the waterbenders of our tribe for generations. Grandma, someone got a lot better, huh? Now that you've gone out into the world, you should take what belongs to you. You are a waterbender. She looks right at the camera. Hey! You ready to leave? There's something I have to do first. That is so cute. Respect. My whole life, you were there for me, and I wasn't there for you. Goodbye, Gyatso. I'm sorry. Hmm. They just put rocks over the body? Yeah, the version of burying, I guess. You want to join us, Momo? <laughs> Momo? He looks like a Momo, doesn't he? Just like how you look like a soccer? <laughs> I bet you taste like chicken. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Zuko, you must try this. It's got... Zuko constantly pouting. <laughs> Whale pole egg. Very good for... Vitality? Vitality! <gasps> Will the Cabbage Patch Man be here? Oh, yeah. The the cabbage cabbage cart. <laughs> if word gets out, everyone in the world will be looking for him. One thing you must learn is how to get what you want without divulging your true intention. That's called manipulation. He needs the book, How to Win Friends and Influence Others. There she is. Giant scary lady. This looks like such an expensive show. Sokka, should you just go in there? <laughs> hey! Kyoshi workers! Oh, yes! Okay, I remember where we're at. <laughs> you are trespassing on sacred ground. Mm. He's the Avatar! Ridiculous. There would have been signs if he was the Avatar. Yeah, saying this is the Avatar. Sign. I don't know what life has been like here. I don't know what life has been like anywhere. I've been away for a while. You just have that good wisdom. That ing wisdom. If I can learn to be the Avatar, maybe I could bring a place I knew. A world hmm. where people were happier back. He does possess that wonder. What harm is there in letting him look through some books? It's not about them. But if he is the Avatar, how can we turn our back on him? Like this. Suki, you're too young. It is Suki. I'm not too young. I just haven't seen the world. That's some great eyeshadow. Oh, there it is. Chemistry. We will open our village for 48 hours. I trust that you will respect the limits of our generosity. I mean, 48 hours actually seems like a That's pretty a long time. time. <laughs> I'm the guardian of my village, too. So. so how are you protecting your people if you're here? What? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I may, I may not physically be there. I have to save the world first. <laughs> he adopted it. How does it go again? I'm protecting Aang, so I'm protecting... <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot in common. 
We're both warriors, right? I'm not just a warrior. I'm a Kyoshi warrior. Goddamn rat. Got put in his place. I like Aang. I like him too. We don't get many VIP visitors around here. Much less the famed dragon of the West. Mm, seems like a dig. I'm sure we can track down what you need. Very kind. Uh, Commander Zhao. Ah. Ooh. Brooding saga. Oh. Someone needs to put a bell on you. <laughs> what? There's food in the village hall. Uh, wow, she's bold. <laughs> they removed Sokka's sexism, but they let her oogle. I know, she's bold. It's progressive avatar right there. <laughs> Take that tree. You're natural. Well, these are just the easy forms. It's more than you could do before, right? True. You're a real waterbender, Katara. You know, you should be practicing too. The avatar needs to master all four elements. She's right. Avoiding practice doesn't mean you'll avoid the responsibility. She's right. It's just Gyatso used to be the one who trained me. We'll do this together. We're not going anywhere. Oh, they got chemistry. I told you to let it build. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just let me use you for target practice. <laughs> <laughs> this is like an NPC. <laughs> oh, just try the gun drumstick. Oh, yeah. Just try a good chip drumstick. Are you really an airbender? Well, yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have some level of faith. There's one airbender, right? You know? I mean, yeah. He knows how to connect, to get through to people like he did last night. That's his real power. The ball! The ball! <laughs> That's how he's going to be the avatar. Oh, no! We've avoided a lot of things by living the way we do. This whole theme of the episode is don't avoid shit. He's a threat, and the sooner he and his friends are off our island, the better. I forgot how, like, rude the adults are. Get it together. He thinks he's found the Avatar, according to his crew. <laughs> Gather any reports of unusual sightings in the last few days. Anything out of the ordinary, no matter how small. And do it fast, sir. I like what he's bringing to the role. Yeah, I think it's, it's very, great. It's very different, too, from the animated counterpart. You mean the da 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 bad guy? Oh, no. Whoa, you need a bell, lady. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Awesome. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Us southern water tribe warriors are no more for our hand to hand fighting anymore. Oh no. Oh, right. Now? This is her way of flirting, man. I <laughs> love. <laughs> Stop it now. <laughs> He's just walking away. <laughs> Did you know she was an orphan? Lived on the streets until she was hired as a house girl for the richest family on the island. She was quiet and kind. Cinderella. How'd she go from this to that? Trauma. Only justice yeah. will bring peace. They're really building her up a lot. Think they're going to do a show about her? That'd be cool. Back home, the other kids used to say I was lucky because I never really had to train, but I did have to train. It wasn't just luck. Not to develop my powers, but to keep them under control. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry! If the Fire Nation was going to kill them, it was going to be Aang. What if I never learn how to control my power? How many people will I hurt? But imagine what'll happen if you don't even try. She is a great moral support. The other avatars are inside you. You want someone to teach you, you just need to figure out how to connect to them. The answers aren't inside here, they're inside you. You, buddy. Xiao's boat, it's gone. He heard something about a flying cow near Kyoshi Island, so he set sail at dawn. He knows about the Avatar, somehow he found out. Oh, somehow? Uh, all of your people ratted on you, buh. Stop! Stop! See, I think this is great because there's no reliance on CGI at all, <laughs> you know? So this feels like... I don't think you would need to, Jack. That's right. Then the Kyoshi Warrior names. Dismiss. Bye. 
get out of here. My boyfriend's here. <laughs> Oh, see, this is cute. It's very cute. Whoever they got to play Sugi is great, too. Yeah, yeah. She's great. Ha! Ha! You know you got to get a little way lower, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Show off your moves, Greg. Go. Nah, 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 nah. This is Sokka's time. Man, they have just been eyeballing each other the entire time. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Whoville. Do you see it? <laughs> Avatar Kyoshi, help me. Damn, he, he just did that? They're starting. already, they're like all in I him. know, but he learned about 30 seconds ago and he just like activated it. It's about time. I didn't know how to reach you. <laughs> it's about time, she said. Damn, y'all are picky. I think he interacted with a different Avatar in the, in, at this point in the animated show. I think it was the old one, the old yeah. guy? Yeah, yeah. There were times I thought I'd never find the Avatar, but it's almost worse now that I know he's close. Why? Because now the chance to go home is real. Oh, okay. Sometimes hope can be a cruel thing. Sir, we're approaching Kyoshi Island. <laughs> Just gonna end on that note, huh? <laughs> so, I thought there was gonna be more that comes after that. Sometimes hope can be cruel. <laughs> you need to turn your opponent's power against them. Reflect their strength. That's how you save the world. Thanks, um, you're a great teacher. Get your desires under control. To be honest, where I'm from, there's not much call for a real warrior. Is she just removing the makeup? I think you're a real warrior. <laughs> not like you. You're, you're not even a bender, and you're the fiercest fighter I've ever met. Not being a bender means we have to be even better than benders. Exactly. We can't reshape mountains and burn forests, so we have to fight with what we have. Yep. What matters is not the power inside. It's the will and desire. Resilience. Uh, uh. You harlot! I've always wondered what the world outside was like, but I never had the courage to leave. I've always wondered what I'd find. Now I know. Handsome Men. boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interrupt, mommy. Yep. The bell. You hear it too. <laughs> you hear it too. <laughs> you hear it too. I don't know which jokes were the original or not, but they're funny. <laughs> It's the town alarm. Someone's coming. You must fill several roles, and many of them require unparalleled strength. That's why I need to master all the bending disciplines. <laughs> oh, adorable kid. The avatar state gives you the strength of a thousand benders. It's dangerous. If uncontrolled, yes. But it can also be the ultimate weapon. And it's so cool, too. Yeah. I wonder why the vision world has, like, purple hue throughout all the... Knowledge of your opponent, knowing where he might go, is more important than speed. And so, where there is one avatar, there may be another. He might be where that other avatar statue is located. See that big thing over there? Maybe <laughs> yeah. he went there. I understand you had an unexpected visitor just the other day. You must be mistaken. <laughs> Yes, I've heard Kyoshi Island is at an admirable history of staying insignificant. Jeez. There's been no need for the Fire Nation to get involved in your affairs. I'd hate to see all that change because of an outsider. <laughs> He's good. You won't mind if we take a look ourselves. I expected as much. He's got, he's got great body language, too. Yeah. I think this is a really strong episode. Yeah. Whoa. Jeez. I like this episode way more than last one. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. great. What if I hurt someone along the way? And how many have already been hurt because you haven't been here? Yeah, man, it's just disciplining the shit out of this kid. The guilt trips. Being the avatar means putting your duties above all else, even your life. You seem like a traumatized avatar. I was like you once. I was kind. But then I saw what was at stake. A dream and then a dream. And I will show you what will happen if you fail. Tragedy awaits the North. And unless you do something about it, another race of benders will be wiped out just as the air nomads were. <gasps> the moon. Yeah, Momo! Damn, them fans are killing it. What a great team they are. Look at this. Look at them go. Wow, this Fire Nation sucks. Woo! We can't hold them 
around for much longer. Where is your friend? You said he could help us. Where is the Avatar? He's meditating. He's going through a really intense guilt trip right now, you guys. Both sides will fight harder because the Avatar has returned. Hope does not come without a cost. I'm getting through one way or another. What happens to you is your choice. He brings good multi-layers to Zuko, man. Avoid your duties any longer, and not only will you fail to save the world, you won't even be able to save this island from the danger you've put them in right now. While we've been talking, <laughs> shit's been burning. This is your fault, thing. Your fault. <laughs> They're all gonna be wiped out because of you talking oh. to me, asking all these dumb questions, Aang. <laughs> And so it begins, Zuko. Katara. That was a great use of a flashback. It's a good PTSD flashback. You wanted to know about the power of the Avatar. Let him go. I will show you what that power can do. Oh, it's her and Aang's body, I think. Okay. I think that's what we're seeing. Oh, shit. Damn. That was a surprise. Yeah, I think we're seeing her and Aang's, bo Aang's body. But it seemed like Zuko saw. No, I think they're all seeing it. How? She is terrified. Back to the ship! <laughs> They're like stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> Completely useless. <laughs> I told you! But she was still able to project herself to that degree? I guess so, to use like fire and water. Well, because the Avatar state allows him to have all of the power of right. all the past Avatars. Yeah, yeah, I get that. It was like, but uh, why I don't think they... we've ever seen it like manifest no, no, like no. that before. This is all my fault. I brought this here. Which is why you have to go. There's nothing here that we've lost that can't be replaced. She has faith now. And you've given us something Hope. far more valuable in return. A reason to believe again. Hope. In our village, in ourselves. And in men. And in the Avatar. And in the Avatar. Now get the hell out of here. I wish we had more time. I do too. Thank you, Sokka, for bringing the world to me. Aww. Aww, she's giving him her fan. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fix everything. <laughs> the singed roofs. <laughs> <laughs> the ash everywhere. <laughs> Zuko clearly isn't going to give up, and he's dangerous. The show's done a good job at establishing the necessity for the other two, though. Kiyoshi said I can only call upon one of the past avatars when I'm in the shrine. Oh, so we're going to see way more. Kind of excited about that. We need to get to the Northern Water Tribe, because something terrible is going to happen. Something only I can stop. Oh, oh I know where we're headed. Don't worry, kid. You don't have to do this alone. You have me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. What more do you need? Where's Momo? There you go. Don't tell anyone about the Avatar. I fully understand the sensitive nature of this information. <laughs> he is so good. I know. <laughs> Working together, we'd be able to devote twice as many resources. We would be honored to have your partnership and your loyalty. Mm, I wrote knows how to play. To your supreme eminence, I have news for you. I know this information may arrive as a shock and you might be tempted to dismiss it. This looks straight up like Lord of the Rings. It is. I have witnessed these events with my very eyes. That is why I can report an astounding development. The Avatar oh. has returned. It's uh, Daniel Day Kim. Don't know who that is. From Lost. I thought that episode was so much better. It's so good. I really liked that episode. That was so much better. That was super engaging. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because 
because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. But sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. Most also big on efficiency. Plus, it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins, and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post-night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, no. So, if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code REJECTS at checkout. That's liquidiv.com, promo code REJECTS. And remember, Liquid IV, it's not a real IV. But it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real-life conversations, offering quick 10-minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation-based approach, enhanced with speech recognition technology, makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual Mundanity, 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 mundanity. Mundanity. Babel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrasing. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions may apply. Join me, the Greg Albin, the adventure of language mastery at Babbel. We shall not just learn no, nay. We shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> We're done with this ad. Greg, they have a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> the first episode, they've got to pile it in, exposition. There was like zero exposition here. Zero. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't any to the extent of the first episode. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't think exposition in it is inherently bad. Yeah, <laughs> so you exposize everything. Exposition is ne is necessary. You need exposition to explain stuff. <laughs> it's the handling of of it. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a much better episode. It actually went against the grain of no, I don't know what I was going to write. It alleviated a lot of the concerns that I was actually having. I thought the scene by the lake or the river. What is that pond? The swimming pool with uh, Katara and Aang. Yeah. It was, a, what was that, a river? It's a river, yeah. Okay. What, uh, that was like, oh, okay, bam, they got good chemistry here. Or and a creek, it could have been a creek. Could have been a creek, could have been a river creek. I yeah. thought the, what you may call it, um, Sokka and Suki, nice chemistry. Again, my main my main thing was I feel like there's lack of chemistry, and I and as long as performers together are having chemistry, Zhao, I think he's doing something very different than what we got in the animated counterpart, which was kind of a generic bad guy villain, yeah. And I think what I forget that actor's name, but he's in a lot of stuff, uh, and he I think he's bringing such a great uh, expressiveness and uh, like great body language to the role, and he's having so much fun with it, whilst uh, his intents are so clear. Uh, through every line delivery that he has, I think he's really, really good. Uh, overall, I thought this was a much like better paced episode. Uh, there was great emotionality to it, and 
they're they are sw- switching things up. I mean, we don't remember like clearly what I, what I remembered from this was when Sokka was like, "Girls can't do this. How yeah, can yeah, girl defend?" No. Uh, and then and then he learns his ways, and then he gets all Kyoshi warriored up in the animated show. And so they still took those Doesn't elements. Doesn't he even put the makeup on? Yeah. On the show? Yeah, 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 yeah. They get and they took those elements and they they made it their own here. And then what they're doing with uh, the the avatar state, allowing him to in. Cause I, I remember you could like I don't remember all the rules because it's been so long even since Legend of Korra, but the the whole thing with like the projection of the Kyoshi warrior avatar, uh, I thought was really cool. It's it's, it's different. Uh, and I, I, I don't want it to rely too much on that, you know, because part of the fun is watching Aang learn and kick ass <laughs> instead of just going, yeah, just jack yourself into another avatar and go whoop some ass. Uh, but, but they established he can only do that at a shrine. Yeah. So. There is there is some rule. I don't remember what the rule is. There is some rule, like <laughs> like an office hour rule <laughs> When you can clock in with the, with the avatar, yeah. the special avatar, when you can clock in and you can... I don't know. There's always like alignment issues or, or something like oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's there's something there. But okay, it's making that real clear. It was good. And uh yeah, overall I thought like this was a significant I, I would say like if you're gonna start the show, you should definitely watch the first two. So you get past a lot of the other stuff. And then here was it felt more grounded, more realistic, more tangible. The seriousness of I, I felt like the last episode was a bit at times a little tonally conflicting. Where here was mainly serious, but whenever there was humor, it didn't um, work against the seriousness. Like they found the humor th- uh, via through the characters at appropriate times. Uh, yeah, overall, I like this one. Uh, what a change! Seriously, I uh, have no complaints. <laughs> yeah. This is like surprising. I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was engaging. I think it took care of the chemistry issue. I think we saw them build the chemistry here. Yeah. Um, and it's more believable as the episode goes on. I really, another huge change, my favorite is Zuko so far, which I couldn't stand that little piece of shit in the, in the animated film. Couldn't stand it in the animated series. But I really, every time he's on the screen, I think the actor is super engaging. I really like him in Iroh. Um, yeah, I, I'm really... I'm really digging where all of this is going, and I have no, co- I have no complaints. I think uh, it's fleshing itself out. It's giving itself time to breathe, and we're along for that journey. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like we're along for the journey with them of learning to be a group together, learning to be a team, and learning Aang get over his insecurities and then eventually work on learning the other elements so yeah it's, it's the one part of the that still carried on through here that i i feel like is a little too re- repetitive of of the way everyone is kind of saying the same thing to ang like like all the time the guilt tripping i can't i can't and, and it's to the point where i'm like it's so you're all saying the same things to him and and so once in a, like the the interaction with katara i think is is nice because it, it gives it a, a different cadence to it there's yeah. a different uh tone to the way she talks about because everyone else is like, "Stop avoiding your bullshit, Ang, and face up, man." So like most people talk to this guy, and I, I so I really like you abandoned you everyone. <laughs> yeah, when you get the levity there with, because I'm like, guys, it I wasn't understand. his choice to abandon people, you know? Yeah, yeah, and I, and I kind of like the sage wisdom of yeah. the, if there's the only time I actually got pulled out for a slight second was when we were with the Kyoshi Warrior Lady and. Uh, my my recollection because normally I'm not comparing this to the animated show when I'm watching it actually, and it did make me flash to because this was a notable change I think, and it did make me flash to when he does first like start talking to an Avatar, and and uh, they're they're so like wise and calm and understanding mm-hmm. and zen, and then of course his experience the first time is like you better quit being a bitch, eh? <laughs> get your shit together, little boy, <laughs> you know, and I I like her though I like the presence of them. I do think the show is still like consistently shot really well, and there's great uh, technical designs to it. And uh, I, 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 I do, yeah, I, I would agree with you. I think, I think Zuko, I think the benefit that the actor has here, without spoiling anything, is the variations of the journey uh, mm-hmm. that Zuko does undoubtedly go on. And I think that actor is able to bring the multi layers right up front. Yeah. So. 
I think has a strength because yeah, I didn't I couldn't stand Zuko in the animated show at first time. He, he became one of my like favorite characters, but in, in the first season, I remember being like, I really just don't like him. Like I I don't like listening to him. Uh, I wasn't a fan at all. And I think the actor is bringing everything from that season one counterpart, but he's infusing it with more depth because he, he's able to, and he knows yeah. a little bit more about Zuko probably that at scene this point. with him and Katara already, you see that hesitant, he doesn't want to hurt her. Yeah. I'm, like, bro, I'm like, okay, I buy this character development and the depth a little more that we're going to see later down the road. Yeah. Because, yeah, in the anime show, he's just like, I'm just a friend of mad, mad all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it, all right. I'm super problems. sensitive to their shows, but it, it was it was annoying. And and here I, I, I am really liking what he's bringing uh, to to the role, and uh, and Iroh as well as being the the mentor who's trying who's uh, don't want to say too much uh, the mentor <laughs> and and uh, bringing a lot of that wisdom to to the role as well, but also trying to guide him to being the ultimate prince he can he can possibly be. Also, also trying to be like, but also you know can't create your own path. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to teach you all the skills you want to learn, but also, you know, maybe, maybe find your own path in life at the same I'm time. I'm very curious as to... I actually feel like the Fire Nation shit, like, when you're with them, is... I, I have a very opposite experience as when I was watching the animated show, but I was... I find myself a little more invested in that stuff here in the live action than in the animated show. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't enjoy it, yeah. you know, yeah. at first, and... Uh, like season two is when I was like, oh, this is getting great. And then season three, like for us, for us, the long story short, the animated show was like season one we thought was all right. And season two and three were like, oh, it's great stuff. Um, I think I yeah. love the ending of season one, which is the thing I'm, yeah, I'm curious to get here under. is where we're ending this season. Because they've already mentioned, I'm pretty sure on the show, the ending with the North was the season finale of the season one. Yeah, I mean, and they're already mentioning that they have to get there. And there's only eight episodes, so I think we saw what a are we condensing here. I think we saw a flash. For I, I think I think when he was talking with the Kyoshi warrior, we saw what the what's gonna happen. I, I think yeah, the to to make us go, oh, that's what he saw, and then maybe will that be the same outcome? Yeah, I think I think that's what they were doing because they they, they, just, they had flash on the moon, and I was like, oh, okay, I think that's what I'm we're worried. At. Are we going to get season two stuff? In this season, I don't think so. I feel like I understand what they're doing because okay. I I don't remember how how long the animated show was in the first season, but they were only twenty two minutes long, and this is like forty five minutes to an hour long. Mm-hmm. So you can theoretically condense, you know, two to three episodes into one. Right, right, right. So I don't feel like they're they're overdoing it, and it seems like they're handling it overall with the right level of pacing and such. Cause it's not like adopt, uh, uh, adapting like Naruto or, or or One Piece, even for that matter. Or One Piece is like a, a, you know a billion comics and stuff. <laughs> like there, there's only a certain amount of episodes in the show, and, and so you can, for the most part, do a pretty faithful uh, translation. Momo, Momo, I love Momo, Momo. super so adorable, cute. so cute. Again, have I, I know there's been a couple of little things I pointed out in terms of comparing to the animated show. The, there is a quality that I do find myself sort of craving that I wish was brought to the anime to the, to here, and maybe it is just about readjusting my motor emotional skills here. Is it is so serious, you know? Oh, fascinating! I um, and I I want a little bit of that. A little bit of life, even though it was weird because I thought Avatar was always at its best when it was super serious. Uh, but I, I do, I'm kind of missing some of that and lightheartedness. See, I don't see that here because I see it in Aang, the lightheartedness. Like the moments, yeah, the, everyone I, knows I love Naruto, and I see that mo- that hope that Naruto gives his people, mm-hmm. that, that he's able to have that wisdom and talk yeah. with the villains and turn them into good guys. I see that in Aang in these moments where he's out with the villagers, playing with them. Where he's giving these people hope. That to me is the lightheartedness, yeah. you know, that that levity that we need. So I'm not I don't see it as overly serious. I feel like yeah, I think it's really well done so far, especially in this episode. I think this episode is way better in terms of tone. But that's what I meant earlier when we were talking about it, of how I, I was able to recalibrate to the tone 
And I do think the humor comes through via the characters. The, the, li- the light com- comes through via the characters. You just want jokes and everything. He turns everything Everything should be Marvel. Yeah. It, everything every, should be it, Thor, it, Love, and Thunder. Everything in your daily life you turn into a joke. So I'm not surprised you just want constant That's jokes. That's not laugh, true. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Only if it's about me, I don't make it a joke. You and my capability. Make it a joke. No. Yes. When it comes to my talent, my skills. How about your stench right now? That is, that is off the charts, man. Um, it is actually a pheromone scent that I bought oh off Amazon. God. It's not working, buddy. It's and I think me off. what's happening is you've been seduced <laughs> <I> and <laughs> you don't <laughs> to run out of the room. You are not, res- you just can't handle, you can't accept it that right now you are you smell like a drawn to me patient. like a magnet. No, definitely like fly not. Fly on buddy. shit definitely is what not. you are right now. Episode You're just on like, the shit part. I need you. <laughs> pheromones guys affiliate link in the description box for all of you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> someone sponsor him with bathing supplies please <laughs> you have to like it's biofreeze he's biofreeze <laughs> you know it just like my shoulders me. and my back hurts it's so he's biofreeze disgusting stench you know that whatever whatever pheromones all righty. Well, uh, yeah, let's watch episode, what I'm looking forward to. Do you remember the character Boomy? Oh, yes, of course, Boomy. I, I feel like he would be. Is Boomy season one? Yes. He would be this this episode or, or, or two episodes. Boomy's super campy animated wise. I don't know how they're going to translate that. I feel like they can pull it off. I feel like they probably could, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> Depending on the actor. They've done pretty good with the, the other actors. Like, yeah, everyone's yeah, really good. Like, wow. Everyone's really good. Yeah. 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 We'll see. We'll see. I've liked the side actors so far. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Cabbage Man. I want Cabbage Man. Oh, yeah. See, can you pull off Cabbage Man in such a serious show? Can. Yes. We need Cabbage Man. <laughs> I need the cabbages. My cabbage My cabbages. <laughs> it's the funniest ongoing <laughs> joke, man. It's literally through every season. It's incredible. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, yeah. Where is Cabbage Man? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much. <laughs> Pandemic Jones. Yes. Pandemic. It's time for a new pandemic with the season of love. <laughs> It's time for you to be the Cupid Pandemic. Pandemic Cupid. Pandemic Cupid. Pandemic Cupid. That's right, Mr. Jones. We're always talking to me. You say the word pandemic, and there's such a negative connotation to it. I don't know why. And I think this season, Brian Perry was the last shadow. We're doing a Pandemic Jones and Pandemic (laughs) Jones. You got to go out there, PJ, and you got to spread the love oh, around. Yeah. So Love wh- as many people as you can. I think right now uh, we're in a weird day and age where people are all comfortable talking about their body fluid love. So <laughs> yep. we are going <laughs> to say, put you on a jet, mm-hmm. a fast jet. Yeah. You're going to hang off of it, the top of it like Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. And you're no just going to let your stream flow <laughs> all over <laughs> Chicago, because let's face it, if anyone needs yeah. some Cupid love right now, yes. it's definitely <laughs> them. And at first, there might be some repulsion in the air. Leave a bucket And out. there might be a big a investigation from the U.S. government. People pay a lot for that stuff on ice. Who did this to the countless families walking around the <laughs> shopping center in Chicago? It's good luck, they say. But Pandemic it's Jones... better luck than a bird. They're going to find a, all kinds of love. You know that airport scene in, in Love Actually, when there's all oh, variations yeah. of love? love That's that. you. That's what your bodily fluids are going to do yes. for the people of <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. Love actually is... All, all around uh, us. And it's actually... And it's... And it's pandemic I got a jokes. little on my shoe. So, Pandemic, you keep spreading that... You keep spreading that. <laughs> that so you're you're in, wild, you're, lovely, do it, boy. Do it, do it, man. That's the way. Hey, if you guys want love, that's the way to do it. That's the most this proactive you, you way. You got to do it. Proactive way. You want things you never had before. You got to be willing to do things you've never done before. Try new things. So it's time to step out of your comfort zone and grow, people. Definition of insanity. Thank you, Pandemic Jones, for pushing us to our limits.